Many thanks um, to Mustafa Al Ali for that beautiful recitation of the Holy Quran. This part of the show is where we take extracts from daily du'as and ziyaras and supplications and try to set, shed light on the wisdom behind these um, these gems, as we call them, within the literature of the Ahlul Bayt. Um, and as ever, me and Zahra are always um, happy to welcome Ibrahim Al Ansari onto the show. Uh, Ibrahim, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa How's your morning going so far? Alhamdulillah, so far so good. Uh, I guess we'll keep it lighthearted because it is the birth of the Imam, um, Imam Al Hadi alayhi uh, salam. And on that note, we're, we're actually going to be focusing on um, the, a certain uh, extract from Ziyar al Jama'a yep. um, that mentions Imam Al Hadi alayhi salam, I believe. You're going to shed light more about this, right? So, uh, Ziyarat Jama'a is actually a ziyarah that was written by Imam Al Hadi. Oh, brilliant, okay. Um, and it's called a Jama'a because um, it comes from the word Jama'a mm. in Arabic. Jama'a, which means to gather. Yes. Um, a Jama'a is basically a ziyarah which gathers every single infallible within the ziyarah. Brilliant. Wow. So, and in fact, um, so before you ask me, uh, where do we recite this and uh, why do we recite this? Yeah. In fact, it is, in fact, mustahab um, to recite in every shrine that you are. Oh, right. mm. In every ziyarah that you want to, uh, in, in any time that you want to perform ziyarah, it's mustahab to do the ziyarah. Especially that the senad of this is very strong as well. Okay. To the extent where I know of a scholar who, when visits Imam al-Ridha in Mashhad, mm. um, refuses uh, to recite... Um, the ziyarah of Imam al-Ridha and in fact recites ziyarat al-Jama'a instead right. and he does so in every single shrine that he enters except for the shrine of Amir al-Mu'minin and Imam al-Hussein alayhi wa salatu wa salam because the, those two ziyarahs are authentic as well of right? course, all of them are authentic of course as in the, the um, senad is strong yeah yeah mm. but, but this one is so strong and it, it's, it's, it just gathers all the ma'asumin together where even in the meanings mm. it has some philosophical meanings behind it mm. it has some spiritual meanings mm. behind it this specific extract that I chose, in fact, has a philosophical meaning behind it, um, which we won't go into too much depth in, but of course we can um, shed, shed, it, shed, yeah. shed some light on it, inshallah. So I'm, I'm quite interested to know, um, the Ziyarah al yeah. does it, does the entire Ziyarah refer to the Imams as a whole, or does it have little segments where it speaks about each Imam? So in... As a whole, uh, sorry, as, as the whole ziyarah, it refers to all the imams. Mm. But so we'll in some parts, it will refer to specific imams as well. Mm. Okay. So the whole ziyarah refers, so for example, just like um, a few episodes ago, we talked about the ziyarah on Monday. Yeah, Imam Hassan. So the whole ziyarah, it refers to both of them. Right. But then there's a specific part that mentions Ya Aba Muhammad. Yes. And another part specifically mentions Ya Aba Abdullah. Abdullah. Okay. It is a similar strategy, let's say. So mm. you'll know who it's addressing by just the grammar of the words. So for example, if it will say, Kum will be yeah. all of you. Yeah. Or for example, Ka or Alay Ka will be a specific person. Specific person. Mm. So we'll refer back to the name that was mentioned um, before the... Before that word. That word. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. And, and Ziyara Jama as a whole, it will signify you who it's talking about? Of course. All right. So if, if in a specific part it's going to talk about a specific person, it will mention. But as a whole, let's say 98% of it, it's actually speaking <coughs> about most of them. And it's, it's, it has such beautiful, amazing meanings Does behind it. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really, really interested in, in, no, in the ahead. actual chronological kind of order of the, of the, of mm. the ziyarah. So does it, does it paint, a, like for example, with Dua Nudba, yeah. it, it paints a story. Uh, yeah. In the beginning, talks about the Prophet's life and what happened, and then he passed away, and then Amin Mu'minin and how he passed away, and then when Amin Mu'minin passed away, what happened to Imam al Hussein, and then and then so on and yeah, so yeah. forth. So, is Ziyarah Jam as sort of similar kind of storyline? Or I wouldn't it say it is similar in terms of that storyline, but I will say it is similar in terms of how it brings everyone together. Right. Um, and in terms of lessons, although the lessons are not the same. So, mm -hmm. for example, in Ziyarat and sorry in Dua Nudba. When we come to the lessons given in it, it talks about the status of Amir al Mu'minin, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. this and this and yes, this and yes, this. Yes. Whereas over here, you know, like I said, it, it goes to more spiritual meanings, mm. some philosophical meanings mm. behind um, the aspects of these Imams. Mm. What are they? What is their role within the Ummah? Mm. Um, how, how did they live about their lives? And with, with how did they live about their lives? I don't mean how they lived it on a daily, but I mean in terms of. How they gave zakah, how the they, virtues. how they, um, aqamu salah, how, mm. how, etc. Yeah. So this is an excerpt of the du'a. How long is that? Mm. Um, is the whole 
The ziyara is quite long. Mm. It is a few pages. Um, this specific extract is a very small extract, actually, mm. from the whole mm. ziyara. Um, I'd say mm. to recite the ziyara will take roughly 10 minutes, maybe. Oh. If you're in a, okay, in a we'll ziyara take, going visiting, yeah. then that's Which not Which is quite long for a ziyara, yeah. because oh, ziyaras right. are usually short. Mm. Yeah. Um, ziyaras tend to be around five minutes maximum, yeah. correct? Well, it depends on how, how fast. Depends on how fast you recite as well, yeah. So do you mind just reciting so that we can get into the, you're mentioning the spiritual yeah, philosophical, I'd love to hear more about it. كلامكم نور وأمركم رجد ووصيتكم التقوى وفعلكم الخير وعادتكم الإحسان وسجيتكم الكرم وشأنكم الحق والصدق والرفق وقولكم حكم وحتم ورأيكم علم وحلم وحزم إن ذكر الخير كنتم أوله إن ذكر الخير كنتم أوله وأصله وفرعه ومعدنه ومأواه ومنتهى اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد It's quite a deep, deep It is, it is in fact um, very deep So in, in, the, in the very, very first part of it It talks about how your names are within the names Your, um, your bodies are within the bodies and to be honest with you, when I when I looked at that specific part, I, I asked myself, what mm. does Imam mm. al-Hadi mean? Mm. What does he mean when he says, your names are within the names. Your bodies are within the bodies. Your souls are within the souls. It's, it's very confusing. Yeah. Mm. Then um, I believe it is Sayyid Ali al-Ha'iri. He comments on the ziyarah. And he says, in fact, the true meaning of Asma'akum fil Asma' is that you are given no more names just like any other human being mm. has. Ajsadukum fil ajsad, meaning mm. your body shapes and your body and the way it works is exactly how our body works. Mm. Your arwah, your soul is exactly how our souls are. Mm. Everything is similar to what? To normal human nature. Okay. But ma ahla asma'akum, what is more beautiful than your names? Hello. It talks about mm. how although, see this, this, this shows the, the true status of the infallibles. Although me and the infallible are so similar, however, look at his status and look at mine. Mm. Look at how, where he reached up to, or she, for Fatima to Zahra, and look at where we were able to, to reach up to. There's another side to that, isn't it, though? So other schools of thoughts have actually, for the Prophet, at least, said that, well, he was just like us. And they've, they've gone the other way, haven't they? And said, well, he was just like us. So there was nothing special about yeah. him. Yet, that's not the purpose of what mm. their creation is, to make them similar to us so we relate to them mm -hmm. yeah. but, and also show the potential we can reach. Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, obviously not to their levels, but it's certainly in our capacities. Yeah. Definitely. Which is what the amount And there's more, by the way. It's not just the souls are like yeah. the souls. There's more like this. For example, um, the I think it's وَقُبُورُكُمْ Fil Qabur, right? Yeah. So even like you die the same way humans mm. die. Uh, so everything that that normal human beings go through from the yeah. beginning to the end of their life, the the ziyad is telling us no, actually they they are normal human beings, souls, um, graves. Um, but it's all about you know how gracious are the names, how noble are your souls, how superior your affairs are. Beautiful. Um, I, I'd love to know why this particular ex. ex Excerpt? How do you extract? Yeah. What is it called? Excerpt? Is it ex yeah. <laughs> excerpt? Excerpt. Okay, cool. I, I can always, <laughs> I always I always get stuck on the actual yeah. word. It's E -C E X E X C E R T. No. No. E X C. Yeah. Excerpt. Oh, I got it right. Excerpt. Yeah. Right. E X C E R P T. That's right. All right. Excerpt. Yeah, so this go. particular ex 
excerpt yep. of it's an, odd, the, it's an odd word, isn't it? Yeah, it's of, of the slow. ziara. Um, I'm sure there, there's a, a there's a lot more, uh, or there there are beautiful parts of the whole ziara. But ha, why, why just this particular part? Did you? Because did you this specific part, um, in fact, when we look at the the full part of it, is at the start, like I said. It is a way in which the Imam is making us relate mm. to these great inv individuals. Mm -hmm. Then after that, after making us relate to them, mm. he moves on to say, فَمَا أَحْلَى أَسْمَاءَكُمْ وَأَكْرَمَ أَنفُسَكُمْ وَعَظَمَ شَأْنَكُمْ So he, he says how, how, how amazing you are in, in, in other words. Then he goes on to say, كَلَامُكُمْ نُورُ Hey, he's mm. giving us teachings. So first he's saying, Relate to the Imam, mm. and then after you relate to the Imams, after you relate to these infallibles, let's look at these infallibles. What were their attributes? Why? So that we may take upon these attributes. Kalamukum mm. nur, wa amrukum rajd, wa wasiyatukum taqwa. So if you look at the um, the the translations, it talks about how your deeds are all good, your habits are charity, mm. your nature is generosity, mm. your issue is truth, honesty. Mm. Now so these, these are the th these are the things that we should be we should be trying yeah. to achieve, right? Exactly. Yeah. So after we relate to the Imam, let's look at their attributes. What are we supposed yes. to relate to? This is what we relate Beautiful. to. And in fact, it is full of teachings. The whole ziyara is full of teachings. But this one is, is let's say the more the most straightforward teachings. Once you've understood the first part, which um, I hope was explained um, yeah. I hope was explained uh, accordingly, and then after that it talks about how these are the attributes that you must aim for as well. And Imam al-Hadi himself, he had many of these attributes. Imam al-Hadi, in fact, many people, so since, since it's his birth, it's, it's nice to mention, uh, mm. mention him for mm -hmm. a little bit. Imam al-Hadi um, was such an amazing personality. And I don't know why I feel like the more you go uh, in the sequence of the Imams, the less they are talked about. Mm. So Imam al-Hadi, we find him to be Imam number 10. Uh, it slowly, slowly people, um, I feel, go downhill yeah. until only Imam Mahdi just because he's the Imam of our time. Yeah. Whereas his stances during, during his lifetime were unbelievable. One of the best of stances, one of the most amazing stances he took was when he was taken to Samarra. Uh, and of course he was called Imam al-Askari not because he was in the army. But because the, the area was called uh, Askar, mm -hmm. so Askari relating to, to the area that he was in. The, uh, the tyrant of the time, he was drunk on one of the days. And he says, bring me the imam. So they go and they break into the house of the imam, they bring him. He says to him, come closer to me. He gives him a glass of wine. The imam looks at him and he says, by Allah, this has never mixed with my blood or my flesh. So then the tyrant looks at him, he says... Then recite me some poetry. The Imam looks at him and he says, please excuse me from reciting poetry. I don't usually recite a lot. He insisted and insisted and insisted. After he insisted, the Imams, when they come to their poetry, <laughs> unbelievable. Mm -hmm. He starts talking. عَلَىٰ قِلَلِ الْأَجْبَالِ تَحْرُسُهُمْ غِلْبُ الرِّجَالِ غُلْبُ uh, الرِّجَالِ So he, he, st he starts talking about how, how they were on, on such high statuses. And then he says, فَأُنزِلُوا بَعْدَ عِزٍ عَنْ مَعَاقِلِهِمْ فَأُودُعُوا فِي الْحُفَرِ بِئْسَ مَا نَزَلُوا They were of, of such high status they think they were. Mm -hmm. And then they were left in a hole, which means the grave. And it is the worst of what they went down in. Because as we know, the grave either becomes yeah. a garden of heaven yeah. or a hole from the holes of hellfire. Yeah. And then he carries on to say that as if a shout comes forward to say, what are these people? Then the grave answers mm. by opening up. This is the images that the Imam forms yeah, within, yeah. The, within the poetry. Then the, graves, the grave opens up. These faces, wow. the insects, they, 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 they travel around it. And then he says... How much did they eat and drink during their lifetime that now فَبَاتُوا بَعْدَ طُولِ أَكْلٍ يُؤْكَلُوا So after how much they ate and now their faces are being eaten by the insects because of their deeds. 
Mm. So the image is that he it shook the it shook the Tehran during the time. And of course, it's his birth, so I don't get into detail. But this was one of the reasons why he was assassinated afterwards. And in fact, that piece of poetry, the images behind it, if we were to bring it to mm. any tyrant, honestly, any tyrant, it would shake his throne, mm. even if he was just to read it, yeah. not given by the imam. Fantastic. So his stances were amazing, his lessons were amazing. And I think he should be taken as a great example for every single one of us. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, Brahim, that was a beautiful end um, Thank you so much. To, to the episode. Just to, just to recap, I thought I'd just make some notes to recap for the, mm. for the viewers. Um, in terms of uh, Ziyarat Jama'a, it, it basically means where it gathers all the Imams yep. together. Um, and it is recited as um, in all of the shrines because of the Senate is quite strong. Yep. It's kind of recommended to recite in all of the shrines because yep. the Ziyarat refers to all of the Imams. Um, and in, in terms of the excerpt that you actually mentioned, it refers to the Imams as being normal in the sense that they are born, they have bodies and souls and graves and, and whatever, but their virtues are of the high, their names are of the high, yeah. um, and the lessons that we can learn from their lives is basically in this dua, in the sense, in the ziyarah, in the sense that, um, for example, um, truth and honesty, um, yeah. decisiveness, your, your habits are charity, uh, your nature is generosity, these are the kind of attributes that we should help align to. Yeah. Um, and on the last bit, it's the, um, the Imam al-Hadi, um, which was amazing, amazingly important, the story exactly. of Imam al-Hadi and That was poetry. very nicely summarized. Yeah? yeah. I, th I think, I I think I'm going to yeah. do that. Yeah, I'm going to summarize the, um, the points. But um, yeah, anything to add, Zara? No, absolutely not. 10 out of 10. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. Um, we pray for a blessed day for your head. Likewise and for your and for families, inshallah. We'll see you in the future mornings. Yeah. Inshallah. Keep us in your dars. And on that note, um, Zara will be joined by um, Brother Bilal for another segment of, um, I believe it was called the Specialist. specialist. Yep, yeah, the Specialist segment. Join Stay us tuned. after the break.